Hey everyone, I trust that you read those 330 pages from Microsoft already. If not, right away, get on it. It's important. Well, anyways, uh, today we're going to get into catalog items. If you're an old NAV user, um, it was called non-stock items. Today we call it catalog items, which I think is a way better name for it. Uh, it works very similar. Uh, we're going to go through it in Business Central just so that you're up to speed on it. If you're unfamiliar with it, it's a way to keep items in the system without cluttering up your inventory list. So separate list for items that you use occasionally, um, maybe a catalog that came from your vendor and you would like to look that up, you know, for any type of needs um, that, you know, for items that you don't use that often. So uh, let's take a look at the system. So let's take a look at the system. Um, Basically, what we're looking at now is something called catalog items. Uh, if I go into that, I have a list of items that are not in my item list. So I don't want to clutter my item list. Let's say, for example, your vendor has a catalog of thousands of items that you can sell um, from the vendor, but you don't want to get all of those items into, um, into your item list because that would just clutter it up. So you only want to add uh, these items to your item list when you're actually using them on a quote or an order. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new one here. This is from the Acme manufacturer. It's coming from Fabricam. Their number is this. We're going to call this um, a uh, special coffee cup. Actually, let's call it Super Bowl because Super Bowl is this weekend and we have them by the by the piece not pallet that would be crazy uh, the price is gonna be ten dollars and we're gonna set up a template here so I'm gonna just say this is the item with no sales tax uh, just take a look at here a little bit you can set up substitutions for this item in here you can set up comments for this item uh, you can create the item so this will then become an item in your item list but I don't, I'm not going to do that right now I'm going to show you how to do that straight from the uh, quote uh, but in any case the idea behind this is that you have this huge list not huge here in my demo but it would be a huge list uh, coming from your vendor you would just upload it through Excel uh, and you would ha have access to all of these items. So I'm going to close that out and go into the sales quote. Uh, and let's say we're going to quote the Super Bowl coffee cup. So we create a new one. And we're going to actually quote that to our datum. And so in here, if you used uh, non-stock items in old NAV, you would be familiar with the non-stock items and you'd be able to put them on a sales quote. So the way you do it in Business Central is you actually go into more options here. Where is it? Here. So there's something called select catalog items. If I go into that, I get a list of catalog items. And then I can click on the Super Bowl coffee cup. So this is not part of my item list, right? It's in this um, catalog list. And if I click on it and say, OK, it brings it into the um, into the quote. So I can go ahead and quote this to say here 100 cups. Um, and if I now look at my item list, it is part of the item list. So it got created instantaneously as I put it onto the quote. So it's a good way to separate things out. Uh, some industries have catalogs from vendors that are humongous and you definitely don't want to see that in your item list because when you are scrolling through your item list looking for something, if it contains a lot of items you've never sold and possibly will never sell, uh, that would be very annoying. So this is a great way to bring it in, know about it, and you can just pick it up when you actually need it uh, and it will automatically create as you put it onto a document like a sales order or a sales quote. So thank you until next time.